18th century reenactors and musicians came together in Duxbury to bring to life the American Revolution as it was experienced by the Alden family. Reenactors from the Old Colony Militia joined the Junior Colonial Fife and Drum Corps from Westbrook, Connecticut, as well as actress and historic interpreter Judith Caliora. It was a living day of history demonstrations, military drills, music, and dramatic performances. PCN stopped by. Uh, I am part of the First Foot Guards, uh, which is a British reenacting group, but today uh, we are for the first time uh, portraying um, militia and we have a, a new uh, offshoot organization in our group uh, called the Old Colony Militia. So this is our first event as the Old Colony Militia and we are today recreating um, a few things that happened right here at Alden House on April 20th of 1775 right after word of Lexington and Concord happened the militia gathered here and the officers had a uh, very uh, long discussion about what actions to take uh, because marching off to fight would in fact be uh, considered treason by the crown uh, so they were very cautious and uh, that's kind of what we're doing today I think in doing this event in particular I like that we are being able to use the property and recreate an event that actually happened here uh, in the room that it happened in uh, I think that's pretty pretty wild. Um, you don't often get a chance to do that kind of thing. Well, I have an ancestor that was in the American Revolutionary War. He was a Minuteman. Uh, and he actually replied to the alarm at Lexington on April 19th. Um, well, he didn't reply on April 19th. He lived in uh, Wells, what is now Maine, but was part of Massachusetts. So his company marched down and, and they, they had uh, 12 or 13 days of service, but they got here five or six days after the, you know, the initial uh, shots were, were long past done. Um, so this stuff's in my blood um, and that's really what I like about reenacting. I'm from the Boston area and was always very um, interested in uh, military history, specifically ranging back to the American Revolution. And um, when I went to college I became very intrigued by the idea of using theater to educate. And so um, I had been acting since I was eight years old as a stage actress. And then when I graduated from college, I um, got into historical living history, historical interpretation. And that was how I discovered Deborah Sampson. And then I created a one woman program about her called A Revolution of Her Own, which has been touring for seven years now. I mean, my entire life, has now become a focal point of how to tell the story of influential women who are often forgotten in our modern day recollection of history. And since Deborah was the first woman that I researched and she was the first woman I wrote about, um, she is the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. These stories that, uh, that we are telling are incredibly important and I always tell my audiences and the people that I meet that it's, you know, it's, it's not just your job to learn, it's your job to pay it forward and just tell one person you know, about the stories that you learn and make sure that these stories um, continue and don't ever die.